skies. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome home to your heart and to the skies of your spirit. Hi there. Uh, welcome back to Spirit Skies. Welcome, welcome. Uh, for those of you who, for whatever odd reason, keep tuning in, you may be wondering, uh, where's that light springing fellow? <laughs> that, that eagle character, you know, you know uh, where'd he fly off to now? Huh? Thought you were just a psychic sidekick. What are you doing taking over here? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm Geezer, and I am officially his alter eagle. Uh, so let me just assure you that all is well, and uh, any splaining we need to do uh, will be forthcoming. Yes, sir. Or fifth coming. Uh, welcome to program number five. Zappity zippity zoopity doo. And first off, uh, let, let me just say to each of you, whether you're a regular uh, wearing your party sea pants here. To each of you, party sea pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> well, it's it's certainly a party for the heart. Uh, that's what we do here. Hardy party. And and taking off for flights of fancy with us. Shabbat 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 Or it's your doing. very first time, your virgin flight with us. Well, then, an extra special welcome to you today. Welcome, welcome. We're honored to have you join us. By the way, that other voice was Tweezer. That's me. He's our other regular co-host that's usually running around here somewhere, often subjecting us to, or er, injecting us with a sudden bursts of song and sound. You would, you would, you would have got Mr. it. Mr. Lightspring calls him his winter child, <laughs> and I think you can guess just why. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering what darn thing has happened with me stepping in and acting like I'm taking over this here imaginary radio show, this so far seems to exist mostly just in the mind and heart of Mr. Stephen D. Lightspring. Shabalama ding dong day. I think you should know uh, Mr. Lightspring is, is working quite hard for this uh, volunteer position for <laughs> this here radio dio show dio <laughs> and uh, really could use a break this time, so, so I told him, you know, my dear Eagle, uh, it's been three years this month since I came trotting in on the huge horse right there in your throat. <laughs> sort of like that little pony you're dealing with right now. And decided to spring some delight on you myself about uh, the time you were wondering why that poetic piece you were working on just didn't sound right with, with you performing it in your own voice. Yes, sir. So with the help of some allergy season antics and me and my horse, uh, I came through loud and clear for you <laughs> right when you needed me to. <laughs> uh, that music-infused poetic piece will never be the same since I delivered it for you. Yes. And I know you got the chilly chills just hearing me perform it. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, you've managed to make me feel welcome right there in your heart and mind, and, and not just during allergy season, when it seems you can channel a bit extra of me. Ch -ch channel that's right, Tweez. Channel. It's quite an art form, really. Actors do it all the time. Like when they act a character in, say, the Christmas Carol or recite lines from Hamlet. Wink, wink. When they can do it, like the Dickens, it's really nothing to shake your spear at. <laughs> what was that about? Wait, wait, let me guess. Hamlet? <laughs> so, you're, so you're making a little pig of yourself? Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, well, that's how it is around here. Uh, we're likely to keep you guessing. In fact, when I asked Mr. Lightspring if, if he'd let me be his guest host, uh, he knew I'd keep him guessing as to what in the world or somewhere in the neighborhood of this world I'd do with this Spirit Skies show to keep us in flight and maybe do a bit of soaring. So I guess you'll just have to stay tuned to see just how we're going to wing it. Woo! Well, as I was saying, uh, being your official guest host, <laughs> I might be guessing a bit myself as to well, what all might take place in the next few momentous moments uh, we share here together. I mean, you never know who might pop in next or what zaniness they might have to share. <laughs> in fact, with our topic of choice today, uh, you just never know what kind of other cameo appearances we might have from other voices that we may not even know who they belong to, especially when you're dealing with a hot topic like we have today. That's 
Try this on for size. Uh, I have a feeling Mr. Lightspring's pony in his throat might have showed up just in time, so I'd feel like I needed to pinch him a bit to see if he'd let me <laughs> pinch it on this oh-so-one-of-a-kind theater in his mind and heart, which he's still hoping will touch a few hearts out there. Ooh. Did I say a few? <laughs> no. He's hoping a few hundred thousand or more would be getting one sweet, sweet sugar, sugar. <laughs> Hug for the heart and lift for the spirit. I, I mean, I, I feel like it was just the right time to let him take a break and, and let me see what I could do with his first really hot topic. Tootsie, tootsie. What is that to say? Well, some of you may think you've got all the answers and can tell us what it's all about. Our topic today has been wrestled with and so often misunderstood and has been an unending source of much conflict and chaos since the beginning of time or rosemary or ginger or any of those other spicy sensations that may have got a hold of a man's mind and heart and, and whatever else they might happen to grab a hold of. Huh? But it also has been acclaimed as the meaning of life, the reason for living, and the sweetest madness known to mankind. Mana, mana, mana. Hopefully, when filling his heart and mind in just the right way, will make him or her a bit more kind uh -huh. and caring and patient, and nurses and doctors could use a bit more, especially those pediatricians. Uh, they're quite known to have little patience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bear with me here, Tweez. I, I know I usually provide the sidelines for the show, and. And this time, I guess, uh, as a guest host, <laughs> I pretty much need to do both. Zappity zippity zoopity doo. The main lines and, and some of those other lines. Jesus on the main line. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell him what uh, you want. We might need some higher help here before it's this over with. This light of mine. I'm gonna let yeah, you Yeah, exactly. Uh, the main thing is we high beam our own heart light the uh, best we can. And any hired help is always welcome. Get a job. Get a job. <laughs> Uh, speaking of hired, um, I know Mr. Lightspring refers to me as his hired self. A and actually, he was barely able to hire himself to get this here uh, radio dio show dio going here. In fact, I know he pays good people real money to have them cast his rather imaginary little pod around on the weird wide web. Where we do feel quite at home here, it would be really such an encouragement to him if you were able to say, check out and consider acquiring. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. Let me guess. Acquiring. <laughs> I got it. One of his mostly imaginary albums or individual songs. Well, they're mostly in the imagination, you know. Uh, not very physical at all, like in the old vinyl days. <laughs> <laughs> comeback time. Yes, they are making a comeback, aren't they? Yes, sir. Well, for now, they're only available as instant downloads. But we're hoping that soon he'll be able to offer all seven of his poetic volumes and what should soon be all seven albums of music and music-infested or er, infused poetic pieces as actual physical CDs and such as well on his new magician or er, musician website. And, and that's slated to happen only after he gets his other website up. Uh, that's all about those good vibes you keep hearing about in our break time messages. Shabbity, 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 he hopes on. to do that real soon. And, and, and then hopefully within a couple of months, uh, with enough encouragement from you, our listless listeners, zippity, 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 uh, get the music one kick started as well. It's really up to you. Yes, sir. The more encouragement he gets, the quicker he can be more and more of the picker-upper he hopes to be in a bit bigger and increasingly hearts, lives, and world impacting way. Mm -hmm. So thank you, more than words, for any help, hope you can provide for our, our resident, helpingest, hopingest wing lifter. One of the, the delights bringing us characters we know. We love him, love him, love him. As you keep him flying, uh, we all get to enjoy these flights of fancy and, and maybe get to make them a bit more fancy. Fancy fun. But more about that after this. I fancy fun all the time. Instead of telling you what our topic is, and, and since I'm the guest host, I guess I'll let you join in our playful games here and, and see if you can guess just how we're going to tackle this hottest topic of them all. Uh, 
maybe instead of talking about it so much, we will just share some of the most meaningful poetic music and, and what are hopefully some of the most uplifting songs you'll hear. Uh, we've cooked them up just for you. <laughs> but why would we do that? <laughs> because we care. That's what I like about you. We want you. to make That's this I as like much fun for you. you as it is for us. That's why Mr. Lightspring spends the equivalent of a 40-hour work week putting these shows together. Mata, mata, All pretty mata. much as a pure volunteer labor of love so far. Wah. Yes, quite labor intensive they are. But he so wants to bring you a hug for your heart, a song to your soul, and a spark into your spirit. But why would he do that? Because that's just the way love is. It's the doorway to the spirit. It's the window to the soul. It's the language of the heart that can declare a person whole. ruffle his eagle feathers a bit by even mentioning these things, but I just want you to know he, he's not writing all this uplifting music and poetry from some <laughs> ivory tower somewhere. He's been winging it for quite a while with a tiny but most helpful bit of safety net help from one amazingly kind soul who so believed in him way before anyone else mm. and who has given sacrificially 
to manage to keep him off the street and somewhat pursuing his heart and soul path, for which I know he's so incredibly grateful. But not much more has been available to really enable him to follow his deep sense of calling most fully. Aww. But he keeps dreaming. And, and so far, this show is the closest thing to the fulfillment of that dream, that vision he was given many years ago. And ever since he gave up his day job almost a decade ago to follow a supposedly impossible dream, to be a late blooming singer, songwriter, musician, writer, workshop leader, and all around joy spreading this troubadour, and to begin to proclaim the poetic messages his muses were whispering to him almost nightly. Super cool. Sure, he takes an odd job here and there. He does what he can. But his heart is right here with us and you. He really wants to do this full time. His dream is to travel and share his often high beam presence around while continuing the show and helping point people back to quite a bit more joy and a true celebration of their spirit. Yeah. And he doesn't have too many notions of being a virtuoso musician, a stellar singer, a public speaking whiz, or a powerful poetry performer. <laughs> he mostly just hopes to fully express his own spirit through all he does in this most unique and playfulest way to hopefully inspire others to get up and get on with being who they are and, and unleash the fullness and, and freedom of their spirit as well. He just loves to see delight come on in others and see and hear their joy spring up as they get a sense of their own heart's home within, their own soul song, and let the spark of their spirit rise up to full flame and get on with being and beaming all they are and can be. Okie dokie. We all have a feeling it's finally harvest time. His years of putting in so many labors of love, from believing in his vision and pouring his heart into his writings, performances, and music are about to pay off. That's yeah. what he believed. It's what's keeping him going. Not about finally making a living so much. It's really about hugging hearts, soothing souls, and uplifting spirits. <laughs> so many could use a good word just like he can give and done in a way that's this zany, playful, -a -a but so very heartfelt. It's, it's just what might reach a lot of people who could really use this kind of much-needed lift. <sighs> sure, it's quirky. We're all a bit zany around here. Zip -a -zip -a -zip -a but this kind of good zany might just be what could help some people not get so bad cookie from all the stress they're living in. And I can't stress enough. The stress is what's stressing and messing with you the most. You but you but you but got it. But so much of it is what we bring on ourselves. We tend to get back what we put out there, really. Okie dokie. Probably in more ways than we can imagine. And that's why we're here, to help welcome you home to your heart and to the skies of your spirit. Maybe make it a bit easier to be at home inside of you and <sighs> a bit less stressing and a bit more into blessing. I have no doubt, one way or another, he'll make it all work. He always has. I know he wouldn't trade his path and following his deep sense of calling for the world. Yeah. It's taken its toll in many ways. He used to have a career, <laughs> a traditional one, where he was into teaching. So he's used to not making much money. That's no big deal. But he really would like to do a little bit better, uh, or more, and get those much needed upgrades. But most importantly, do what he loves most. Reaching out to a lot more hearts that could use a really good hug and a nice nudge in a good direction. To be reminded of the most amazing spirit skies that await inside us <laughs> with unlimited possibilities. And we're pretty convinced around here that people can do that. And as their hearts open up more and more, they can begin to see from there that our theme for today's show, here it is, love is so much more, is more true than we can say. Okie dokie. And it's through love's eyes that we begin to see that the wide open skies of all that can be, the more we awaken to love. Hit it, Tweez. 
This was your delicious, downright juicy debut song. <laughs> Go for it. There comes a time when all you made, all the roles you played out again and again, all that you've done to try to find a way, still be true to yourself. That you play in hopes that you be loved for who you really are. Far down past the surface, down deep in your heart, they no longer serve you. Now you no longer care. For anything but living From your heart everywhere oh, Only living From your heart everywhere Everywhere slicing the tweezers that you see joyful no more. It's about three times longer than that on the album of the same title. You can get it at cdbaby.com slash Stephen D. Lightspring. And the one we shared earlier, The Way Love Is, is from his 2014 all-poetic music release, Delight Beams. It's also available at cdbaby.com along with his other older albums by adding the number one, Stephen D. Lightspring One, after the slash. We realize we've spent a lot of time sharing heart to heart about some things that I took some extra liberties with here, and with our goal to keep this to just a half hour show, that really has limited our time left to share more dialogue about our subject, but I felt it was the most loving thing I could do today. So in a way, it's most keeping with the topic at hand. Maybe Mr. Lightspring will allow me to make up for it in our next program, and I can give him a break just one more time while he gets back from his challenges with being a pony or a little horse. Then in March, we can hopefully get back to our dialogue and content with Mr. Lightspring, and Tweezer and I can go back to our comfy but never ever dull sidelines. But before I head out of here, I wanted to be sure to share one of his latest songs that is from his upcoming March release album, Awaken Again. And it's really about the power of becoming increasingly aware of love. And although it's written in a somewhat romantic vein, it's really more about the magic that sublime love can bring into our lives to help us see the, the magic and the miracles <laughs> surround us everywhere 
and fill us always. There's a sparkling spoken word ending in the full recording on the album that elaborates the wonder of seeing that the magic and the miracles really are always and everywhere. Please enjoy this tiny sliver of a slice of this delightfully life-celebrating song for the first time ever online, released right here, right now. It's called, I Believe in Miracles. I believe in miracles I know they happen every day Ever since an angel came You know she took my doubt away Just one look into her sky blue eyes And heaven had come to her for me sure hope you get to hear the full version of it with the very memorable, over-the-top, life celebration, spoken word message at the end. It was performed for the first time ever at the Joy Jazz Eagle Liftoff concert we got to put on in a noted nightclub in Charlotte, North Carolina last month. We hope you'll stay tuned for its long-awaited, joyfulest release in March. If you'd like to be made aware of releases and upcoming events directly, uh, please be sure to email us at the word delight and the word spring at aol.com. Spirit skies in the subject line to make sure it gets read. If you'd like to get on our mailing list or considering a possible live event with us, in that case, uh, please put soul soothing concerts in the subject line and or ask any other questions you may have about what we do or let us know how you have been blessed by our show. We would love to hear from you. Well, that about unwraps it up for today. We hope you'll stay tuned to your heart always and to us every once in a while, at least every two weeks and in between. In radio station and online SoundCloud archives where you can hear us and review us at any time. And remember, love really is so much more than we have yet imagined who we are, as we'll talk, sing, and poet about next time, as you take flight right here alongside us once again on Spirit Skies. Please be aware that all scripts, lyrics, spoken word, music, and soothing sound you hear here, 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 were designed, written, recorded, and produced by Stephen D. Lightspring. <laughs> and the entirety of the show is copyrighted by Delight Spring International. Hi, Stephen D. Lightspring here. Are you into good vibes? Maybe it may be that they'll soothe your soul, bless your body, and spark your spirit. You might just be so glad you did. Stop by beingwellbeingwell.com and get a sweet load of good vibes. Hold on. <laughs> Don't know about any other, but this flavor for you. Huh? What? For all our optional opinions and oceans of notions expressed on this heart tugging plugging show uh, are most uh, likely the fig news of our imaginations uh, uh, and are never meant to be misconstrued to be anything to be taken with such curiosity <gasps> as to replace medication, meditation, or any other therapy for body, mind, or spirit uh -huh. that you may be otherwise obligated to continue. Okay. Sure. So, please do what you do, do on your own name. Try not to play much for any understandable double trouble uh -oh. you might wind up in from your own health and well-being choices uh -huh. for which we cannot be held responsible. <laughs> Thank you.